Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the second episode of the F-105G, the Wild Weasel build.
So now I have reached a stage in the build where I have built basically all the complete aircraft and all the submodules. And the next stage is uh, painting and weathering. And I have uh, experienced some uh, issues during the build and I want to go through them. Um, I, in the previous episode I did a quick uh, dry fitting of the wings, main wings against the fuselage. And uh, I did that with the fuselage halves separated. Uh, which it wasn't a great idea because as you can see the shape of the of the fuselage there is a waist here and uh, the curve or supposed curve of the wings uh, where they meet the fuselage is not um, consistent with that curve so uh, there is a there are a couple of gaps so I had to fix that with uh, with some very very careful use of CA glue and a lot of sanding and uh, uh, there are still a couple of places where you can see that it's not absolutely perfect uh, but I think I uh, I might do a, s a last fix or last touch up of that or uh, or I leave it as it is uh, okay I was also a bit concerned about the um, uh, the refueling probe panel here at the front of the uh, of the fuselage, but I managed to fill that uh, and sand it down. I think uh, I got a good result with that. Um, I basically had to flood the whole part with uh, CA glue and let that cure, and after that I had to sand it down and polish the. The surface to to make it conform with the with the nose here or nose part of the of the of the aircraft. Um, I added some weight to the to the radome or the nose uh, just to <laughs> be on the safe side. Uh, it wasn't really needed because the the center of gravity is seems to be at the front half or uh, very much forward on, on, in the on the fuselage and the main uh, landing gears uh, struts are located quite uh, quite near the the rear so it's uh, I think this it will not be a tail seater even if you exclude the the, the weight but I, I just added it just for to, to make sure that I uh, there will be no issues. Okay, uh, the biggest problem I had uh, was actually uh, the <coughs> rear section here. There is um, um, there is a panel here, and I understand why Trumpeter had done it like this. That there is a panel here, and if you have a seam line, if you, let's say that you split this part in half, uh, one one side in <coughs> in the, in each uh, half of the fuselage, then you will get a seam here, and that is, that will look bad or it will be very difficult to to fix. So instead, they made a part that sort of follows um, a panel line, which is uh, <coughs> of course a very very good solution if you want to. Uh, to, to avoid the seam in a very um, sort of uh, embarrassing <laughs> position in, on, 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 the, on the aircraft or, or on the model. Anyway, uh, the idea didn't uh, sort, it didn't work so good because uh, the, the fit between the fuselage and this uh, part here is very bad. So it was something like a half a millimeter or a quarter of a millimeter gap all the way around and uh, this part doesn't have any support except for a small um, lip that is in, in the front end here so basically everything and and this is actually two parts that are glued together I don't know if you can, can see that it's um, um, so everything sort of hangs in the air and it's supposed to be glued in the edge to edge 
and uh, that doesn't work if, if there are seams or if the, the fit is bad. So I had to build uh, a couple of supports in order to, to, um, to fix that. And, um, <clears throat> and we ha there was the same story on the, on the underside here. That, that didn't fit <laughs> either. either. Uh, so I, what I had to do was to, to basically try to glue everything as good as possible uh, and then use a big clamp to, to clamp the, the um, uh, rear part of the fuselage together and apply lots and lots of CA glue. So, uh, and sanding and uh, polishing and uh, yeah, all that jazz. So uh, basically all the detail is lost here, that, which is a bit sad because there was a lot of rivets and, uh, and panel lines and uh, good stuff. But um, I, uh, I tried to uh, come up with a way to, to, to fix this. And I tried, to, I even played around with the thought to, to sort of add material around, like a, a very, very thin shim of a plastic car or something to in order to to uh, get it sort of to fit and then I could glue everything and sand it down without uh, using any filler. Uh, I did one try with that but I couldn't get it to work. So I had to use brute force and a lot of CA glue to get everything together but it, I think it will look uh, okay so I'm happy with that or as happy with that as I can be, I guess. Another uh, surprise <laughs> was the, uh, the flaps. There, there is uh, some kind of very, very strange insert. This is actually two parts and uh, the fit was awful. And there were a lot of, of panel lines that were supposed to sort of go between these parts. And uh, I mean, it's that is not working. It's it's not possible to to fill that and keep the panel lines uh, together. And on top of that, uh, these parts they didn't level up. They they were on two different levels. So I had to fill this, and then I had to sand uh, the inner part down a lot. So basically, all the detail that was on this part is lost because of that. But I, I got a nice uh, conforming or or a flat or a nice flat area uh, that I can paint at least. I will do some weathering on. So I'm uh, I'm happy with that. I think. And uh, yeah, I think that is uh, as I mentioned in the in the previous episode I had to paint the lid or, or the hatch here uh, in advance and I, I mask it like this so uh, it's it should have been much much easier to do this if I hadn't glued in that that hatch beforehand so yeah I think that's uh, that's <laughs> that's my experience so far I um, have also added uh, some kind of there is a window here an optic uh, uh, window for the combat camera I think it's called and uh, I have added that uh, and I, uh, I just added some some uh, clear paint uh, a mix of, uh, of blue and, uh, and green to, to simulate the optics okay yeah uh, one final thing that I want to mention and that is a strange thing that is located back here on the on the fuselage let's see if I can get this in place Th this is this part is actually glued in without any support at all so what I did I, I drilled a small hole and I added a, a piece of uh, guitar string just to have some kind of support or, or guide when I when I glue it, I will paint this um, this separately. This is supposed to be red, I think. It's it's a, a fuel dumping hose or a fuel dumping uh, tube 
that is used uh, and yeah I guess for dumping fuel <laughs> in case of an emergency if you want to uh, uh, yeah or do before landing or, what, or whatever so uh, that part will be treated separately okay so um, let's move on to the other parts I have decided to uh, the loadout for the for the aircraft will be uh, three uh, drop tanks and four AGM AGM uh, forty five strike um, uh, anti radiation uh, missiles and uh, these are the rails for for the for the missiles and I have already glued in the pylons in the for, for the drop tanks and I have also painted the um, started to wear the, the um, what should I call the uh, nozzles or, or petals for the exhaust um, these are actually air brakes that ha they have nothing to do with the uh, sort of engine or or uh, they they are not no any nozzles for for the engine they are air brakes and uh, I have painted them with L, L clad on the uh, outer side and I also painted and weathered them with uh, metallic shade and also some uh, buff and no tan and white and black paint and I will um, I will weather these further with some oils I think and maybe pigments as well I don't know but uh, I think I will add some oils to to them just to make the um, the, uh, the structure on the inside more uh, pronounced so uh, so yeah that's the plan for them okay uh, there are a couple of small parts in the build that I have already fixed or, or are, are uh, ready and there are some parts that I haven't fixed yet like the canopies. I normally you do them uh, last thing so uh, so I will probably do that uh, <laughs> um, as, as the final final step just before the, or as part of the final assembly. Okay, uh, this is long, long, uh, <laughs> long talk about uh, the the build. But I, I thought I, I would uh, uh, share my experiences from from the build uh, because uh, if someone is going to build this kit, I think they they need to know what what's ahead of them. So okay, uh, thank you for watch watching. And I will uh, proceed with the uh, masking and painting and there will soon be another update. So stay tuned for that. Okay, again, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.